but uh, we're delighted to have you here. Um, we have lots of people here this evening who have been interested in the charity for many years, and we also have people interested or have funded the charity, and particularly tonight we're celebrating the goodwill and generosity of um, uh, the funders that have made this uh, building possible. So um, it's a very special evening for us. I've reached the age where I need glasses, so um, <laughs> bear with me a second. Um, so tonight is about um, I Icon's official opening of the new building, and it's um, sorry, it is to celebrate the goodwill and generosity of many people because they wanted to make a difference to young people's lives. And Icon is all about young people. Young people like Tom. Tom was just 12 years old when he told me that his mum had died of cancer and dad had been drunk every night since. Young people like Ellie, who was told constantly by her dad that she wasn't as pretty as her friends. Young people like John, whose parents told him they were splitting up and he had just two hours to decide, to decide who he was going to live with. In all of those cases and many others, I rang every agency I could find to try and get them support. All I found at the time was a six month waiting list for counselling. And times sadly have not really changed. Surrey has 10,000 young people at risk. Like Tom, Ellie and John, significant challenges in their lives mean they're unlikely to transition well to adulthood. They face unemployment, addictions, men mental health problems, and much more. It is all, almost criminal that there is so little help available to them when they need it. This is why ICON was established almost 20 years ago, with two core principles. Preventative support when issues start to emerge, while utilizing the power of relationships. I'm convinced that these principles are the keys to success. Prevention avoids months of anguish for young people and often avoids the crisis affecting their families, their school, the community and even future generations. Allowing young people to slide into crisis costs us all, financially, socially and morally. ICON's focus on building relationships where trust, em empathy and ongoing commitment are at the core. As we do this, we begin to share the young people's pain. And when we share their pain, we are compelled to act, to go the extra mile, to offer personalised support and, su and sustain that support for as long as it takes. By treasuring each young person, they make a better progress. ICON now works with almost 3,000 young people each year <coughs> in secondary schools, in youth centres, and on the streets. Last month, ICON won a prestigious national award with the Centre of Social Justice for displaying innovation and effectiveness in addressing the root causes of poverty, turning lives around and reversing social background breakdown. ICON's preventative and relational approach was particularly commended by the judges. As ICON has grown to support more young people, our building became increasingly crowded. It became difficult to keep tidy, but more importantly, uh, the need to provide desk, office desk, sorry, desk space for staff reduced the amount of space dedicated to the young people. As a young person's charity, this had to change, and we're here today to celebrate that it has changed. We hatched a plan to take on this additional <coughs> building, and we approached Fulbrook. <coughs> Throughout ICON's nearly 20 year history, Fulbrook has always been so supportive and their backing of this idea um, is further evidence of that. ICON's chair will pick up on this shortly, but I want to thank the principal, Anne Turner. Um, she's had to leave now, but she has championed this development from the start and we're very grateful to her and the school. All that was left then was to fund the project. I say all. Finding the first donation is always the most difficult to achieve. Yet, the first person we spoke to about the project was Charlotte Grobian, the Chief Executive of Give It Away Limited. And she said yes. 
<laughs> and raising the rest became that little bit easier. So I'd like to introduce you to Charlotte Grobian, who is the founder and the chief exec of Give It Away, and she will explain uh, her involvement and relationship with Ike. <coughs>
And just to give myself a real break from Hermitage Road, I came here and, and I picked up a few drills and looked a bit helpful and took some pictures for Twitter. But it will see it all. So, to actually see what I do with the scaffolding and all horrible stuff and the planning commission and the neighbours who would ever fast, and I actually see what we're standing and saying, this is actually why I do it, and this is the project. So um, I will continue. I have watched Icon go from strength to strength in the last four years. Um, I admire them greatly. I love talking to their um, youth workers that we do tonight. I love working with them. And there's, there's no way that I will stop doing that. So um, rather than Hermitage Road getting the hurry up and finished, um, because I will come up with another project. And it's we nice will. to have <laughs> <laughs>